Do this. Wait, it's so fun. So, I'm Nathan. And I'm Thomas, and we're the founders of eSkate Supply. And we're going to show you how to DIY an electric skateboard that could go top speed of 28 miles per hour and goes around 20 miles of range. Now, this is our first video, so I don't know how good this is going to be. Um, but all the parts are in the description below, and let's get right into it. Now you have to unplug the power switch from the controller. To put the charging port and the power button through the heat sink, um, all you have to do is just put it through the hole then tightening it with the silver ring provided. Should be quite easy. Just make sure everything is tightened so it doesn't come loose up later. And now you just put the controller into the deck to make sure that everything fits inside. And if everything is okay, all you have to do is just plug in the power switch back to the controller. So when that's done, you just put the battery inside the deck. There should be quite a lot of space for this battery. And you just plug it in. You just plug in the XT60 connector. to the motor. Um, in order for it to fit drop through style you have to unscrew everything on the truck. Just beware to remember everything how you put it in because you will have to assemble it later. So now you just, after you have done the motors and the trucks, you just feed the cable of the motor into the hole as shown in the video and you can then start plugging everything in including the sensor cables and um, the cables on the side. Um, I usually like to keep the colours the same and make sure you put the left side of the motor with the left side of the controller just or it won't work. Yep. After that's done, you just flip the deck over and just to make sure, do it easily because you don't want anything breaking that way. And now, with the truck, all you have to do is um, assemble it the way, the opposite way to how you disassemble it. Should be relatively straightforward.
when I was、um, building this and put the lid on, I realized that the cable was way too thick. And、um, to fix this, all we have to do is、um, cut a bit of the top bit of the sleeve, and it should be fine. Now to program the controller, you just plug in the Fiesi tool with the controller and program both sides of the controller with the motor, and close the lid to test fit. And、um, we put some hot glue gun to raise the lid slightly, but it shouldn't affect anything. And now you just screw all screws in, and.、Uh, 